A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Goncha. After four and a half months of combating the Lassa fever outbreak in 21 states, the Nigerian government has declared an emergency phase of the epidemic over. Due to increased reports of cases of the disease in some states across the country, the NCDC in January declared the Lassa fever emergency in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the NCDC has confirmed that a total of 129 people have died from the outbreak since January 2019. Meanwhile, 83 local government areas have been identified as hotspots for cholera in Nigeria as the rainy season begins. Cholera hotspots are places where the disease outbreak occur on a regular basis and the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, says over 722 suspected cases have been reported with 28 deaths recorded since January. Bochi, Kanu and Zamfara states carry over 70% of the burden of the disease. Anti-Graft Agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has denied arresting former Imo State Governor Rocha Zakorocha. The Advent Media reports that Zakorocha was arrested alongside his wife in Kechi and two others by the EFCC on Thursday. But reacting to the report, the EFCC, through its spokesperson, denied the claim, saying none of its operatives was ordered to arrest the governor or his wife. The Nigerian Senate has approved the payment of over 129 billion naira as final subsidy arrears payments to 67 oil marketing companies. The lawmaker says this payment will bring an end to all issues regarding petroleum subsidy arrears program in Nigeria. And the industrial court has ordered the reinstatement of Munir Guazo, suspended director general of the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC). In his judgment, Sanusi Kado, Justice of the Industrial Court, held that the Minister of Finance lacks the power to suspend the SEC DG. The court has also ordered that Guazo be paid all entitlements and allowances in full. U.S. President Donald Trump has announced tariffs on all goods coming from Mexico, demanding the country curb illegal migration into the United States. In a tweet, Trump said that from 10th of, 10th of June, a 5% tariff would be imposed and would slowly rise until the illegal migration problem is remedied. Well, Nigeria fought from a goal down to draw 1-1 with Ukraine in the FIFA Under-20 World Cup at the Belsko Biala Stadium on Thursday night. With the result, Nigeria finished third in Group D with four points from three games. The Paul Agbogun boys advanced to the round of 16 as one of the four best third-place sides. And that is from the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.